Hi there, my name is Vic Veer. I'm an ENT consultant surgeon who works for the National Health Service in London. Due to some incessant whining from my colleagues that my videos are too long, I've decided to publish an operation of me inserting a grommet, which is probably the shortest proper operation in ENT. To make it vaguely interesting for the junior doctors who may be watching this, your challenge is to pick out the three technical errors that I made during this operation. So let's get on with it. So this is the ear hole and coming to view now is the knife used to make the hole in the eardrum. For scale it's about two or three millimeters across. In the background you'll see a thin membrane which is the eardrum and the bone of hearing attached to it called the malleus. As you can see now I'm making a hole in the eardrum and we put it in this corner because here we run the lowest risk of causing any damage to the underlying structures. The blue object coming to view now is the Cambridge grommet which I prefer to use over Shah's grommet because it's easy to hold with the forceps. Shah grommets seem to ping everywhere in the operating room because the nurses find it too hard to mount them properly. I put the toe of the grommet in the little hole I've made and point it slightly down to make it easier for me to slide in with the straight needle. And that's coming into view now. So what I'll do now is gently ease this grommet into place and make sure that the hole is pointing towards me because this sort of helps me later in clinic if you want to know if the grommet is blocked or not. And that's it. So, did you see the three technical errors I made? Don't worry if you didn't because I'm putting together another video where I go through all the things I could have done better. If you did see them, write me a comment and I will congratulate you. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you found it useful.